Hello everyone, come from the test server. So Black Adam is the new ally on the test. So its um, combat ability is called down eight lightning bolts against your neighbor enemies. So let's take a look at the abilities and I'll go for every single ability this guy has. So first one is every 20 seconds casting a finisher marks a target. Defeating a marked target drops a spirit orb that gives buffs when collected. Then the last one is increased amount of generated. Increased amount of generated from supercharged generator abilities is the second passive right there. Hello everyone, so here we will be looking at the damage on one um, target, three targets and then eight targets to see how the damage splits. So here I call down eight lightning bolts against nearby enemies with their weight of Shazam. Making sure we are in combat. So after combat we got a total of 415,000 on one target. Okay so now we are back so the same DPS side but on free target let's see what the damage is like. So damage was 406,000 but this time it was hitting only two targets. Okay now we are back and we will be testing this on for eight targets to see how the lightning splits across all of them. So far it has been targeting one by one so let's see what happens. shall be driven before us. Okay, now it went for four targets instead of the two on out of um, three. And the total damage is 410,000. Hey guys, so here we will be looking at the first passive. So let's go into more details what the actual ability does. So first passive is um, using finisher superpowers, mark targets to drop a spirit orb when defeated. Cooldown is 20 seconds. So players who collect the orb receive a percentage boost to might and precision as well as, as a healing over 10 seconds. So at the maximum rank you will get 6% might, 3% resto and 40% health increase. So let's see how effective this is. So first of all I need to make sure I have my finisher ability in my loadout which so for ice it will be glacier flash. Fire beam intense cold air at your targets causing damage if the target is below 35% health deal extra damage. And secondly I need to get my health low as possible. So then once I do defeat one of its targets with my finisher move, I can actually see the effect of that um, orb thing that it drops on the floor. <coughs> First let's get into combat. And now we shall just wait until my health is low enough. I will damage some of these so to make sure that my finisher ability defeats an enemy. I think that should be low enough. So you saw the healing right there. For 10 seconds receiving 10k hits. So let's have a look. So my Glacier Flash critically damaged. Okay, that's fine. So there's a healing summary. So nine seconds. I don't know why it says nine, it should be ten. 
I got a total healing of 107,000. So, and this will, like I said, refresh in every 20 seconds. So that is not bad. And then now we will have a look at how much might and precision we actually did receive. So I'm going to redo it out once more. And then we will have a look upon defeating the enemy. Let's see how much might and precision it gives. So that is not bad um, receiving the 107k heals. Only if you defeat an enemy by using your finisher ability. So let's try that again and then we will compare the might and precision stats like before and after. So let me get back in combat. So as of right now, my prec is 49920 and 1303 might. 103k might. There we go. So now my might is 136 and 513, 20, prick. And, I've got, and I've, of course I've received a heal over time as well, which is good. And in my next clip I will be comparing the might and precision values before and after so you can actually see the increase. Okay, so here we have um, the might 130,000 and then 49920 before using the actual ability and then after I've used it you can see the increase right there 51320 and then 136,000 so it gives you a decent amount of precision right there and and might so before and then after okay so now we are back um let's look at the second ability so the second ability is as follows um, increase amount generated from supercharge generated abilities so at the max rank is plus 25 supercharge so let's have a look at your um so for ice the supercharge ability is the impaling ice so what i will be doing is having a look at how many supercharge we actually get with and without the actual um alloy itself activated so i'm going to do i'm going to do this three times to see the actual general do this once with and then one once without so this is one with so you can see the small ability bar right there Now let's activate this. So you can see the generation is quicker. much quicker than without the ability activated from the alloy. Now doing it without, you see the difference. Let's go out of combat. You can see it is slightly slower. is much slower because with the active you can actually inc see the increase right there I saw the big jump so this is with the ability Yep, the generation is much, much, much quicker. So 
So that is all for the video. Thank you for watching. And um, please let me know in the comments below whether you will be using this ally or not. Um, I know once the Fincher built him, um, ability is pretty cool. Um, but the second passive, I don't see many people using this unless you are very heavy, heavy supercharged build. So that is all. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.